Hello everyone and welcome to Bell Explains. In this video, I will be explaining chapter 6.1, Linear Equations in One Variable. Let's get to it. Solve the following linear equations. First, we have x minus 10 equals to 3. In order to find x, we have to move the numbers to the other side. So moving 10 makes it a positive number. 3 plus 10 gives us 13. Next, 4x minus 1 equals to 7. Moving the numbers gives us 4x equals to 7 plus 1. Simplifying that gives us x at 2. Next, x over 6 plus 3 equals to 5. So x over 6 equals to 5 minus 3. x over 6 equals to 2. Changing this from division to multiplication gives us 2 times 6, which equals to 12. Next, x plus 8 over 2 equals to 9. Moving the 2 to the other side gives us 9 times 2, which is 18. That leaves us with x equals to 18 minus 8, which is 10. 3, x plus 2 equals to 5x. So expanding the brackets gives 3x plus 6 equals to 5x. Gathering the x's to one side gives us 5x minus 3x equals to 6. So 2x equals to 6, which means that x equals to 3. And lastly for f, 2 over 3x minus 4 equals to x plus 1. So gathering the x's to one side gives us 2 over 3x minus x equals to 1 plus 4. So negative 1 over 3x equals to 5. We have x equals to 5 times negative 3 which gives us negative 15. Moving on to self-practice 6.1d. In a mathematics test, Asma scored 70 marks more than Yazid while Susanna's score is twice of Yazid's score. So here we have Asma, y plus 17, and Yazid is equals to y. Susanna is twice of Yazid, so we have y times 2, which can also be written as 2y. The total score will be y plus 17 plus y plus 2y. So simplifying this gives us y at 36. Since Asma's score is y plus 17, she scores 36 plus 17 and that gives us 53 marks. Next, the diagram shows a rectangle. If the parameter of the rectangle is 66 meters, what is the area of the rectangle? So first, let's find out the value of x. Adding all sides gives us 6. Let's solve that first. We have 2 times 2x plus 1 plus 2 times of x plus 5, which equals to 66. So solving this will give us x. So we get x at 9 centimeters. So this means the length is 2x plus 1, which means is 2 times 9 plus 1 equals to 19 centimeters. As for the height, we have x plus 5, which means 9 plus 5 equals to 14. So the area is length times height, right? Which means 19 times 14 equals to 266 centimeters square. Next. Mastery Q 6.1 solve the following equations. So this is pretty simple and similar to the ones before. So I will not be explaining them. Please try to understand them on your own, guys.
Let's move on to number five. There are 35 students participating in a community activity to clean up their school. So here we have a total of 35 students. The number of students who participated is less than the number of is five less than the number of boys, which means we have the number of boys at x and the total number of girls, which is at x minus five. So how many boys participated in the activity? In order to calculate the number of boys, let's form an equation to find out the value of x first. So we have total, which is boys plus girls. And let's calculate that out. This should give us the value of x, which is at 20 boys. Next for number 6, the time spent by Nadia to answer the geography quiz is 30 minutes more than the time spent to answer the history quiz. Alright, so here we have the equation whereby g equals to h plus 30. The time spent to answer the history quiz is half the time spent to answer the geography quiz. Alright, so here we get another equation which means h equals to g divided by 2. To solve this, we must substitute the value of h into equation 1. So solving this gives us the value of g. Let's calculate that out. That should give us the value of g at 60 minutes. Next, let's find h. We have 60 divided by 2 equals to 30 minutes. So the total time spent is geography plus history and that gives us 60 plus 30 minutes which is one and a half hours. Lastly, the diagram shows the plan for the arrangement of tables in a room. The distance between the tables is 1.5 meters and the distance between the tables and the wall is 2 meters. So first let's label that out there on the diagram. Right. Determine the surface area of a small table and a large table. So starting with the height, adding all these variables together gives us 10.6 meters. So first, let's find the value of y. So solving this equation should give us the value of y at 1.2 meters. Now we'll do the similar thing for the length. We can find the value of x by doing this. So let's form the equation first. Solving this gives us the value of x at 1.8 meters. Right, so now we can proceed to find the area. The area for the small table is x times y, which gives us 2.16 meters square. And the area for the large table is 2x times y, which gives us 4.32 meters square. That's all guys. Don't forget to subscribe and like the channel to get more interesting videos like this. See you soon in our next video. Bye guys.